Hello everyone, in today's video we're looking at lines painted in the road. That's yellow lines, red lines, single lines, double lines. Do you know the difference? Keep watching to find out. Drivers are often unaware of the difference between a single yellow line and a double yellow line. And as a result, when they see yellow paint on the road, they often think it means no parking, full stop. This is not entirely correct. A single yellow line on your side of the road means that there are waiting restrictions in place. This means that there are restrictions on when you can stop there, how long you can stop there, for what reasons you can stop there, and possibly how much it will cost you to stop there. All the information you need will be on a small yellow sign nearby, usually fixed to a lamppost, fence or pole. The sign will contain a no waiting sign and will then tell you the restrictions and any exceptions. For example, no waiting 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Monday to Friday. The terms waiting and parking mean the same thing. Or parking one hour, no return within two hours. Or no waiting 8 a.m. to 6 p.m except taxis. In tourist hotspots, you may also see restrictions along the lines of no waiting June to September. In this example, parking is not permitted between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. and again between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. It's often just rush hour that the restrictions are in place to help improve traffic flow. You may also find that the restrictions are in place in the morning on the side of the road going into a town or city centre and are in place in the evening coming out of the town centre. Outside of those times, you can park there unrestricted. If this was outside a cinema and the film started at 7pm, you would be absolutely okay to park there. And you'll probably find that most other people avoid it because they don't understand the meaning of a single yellow line. If there are no other restrictions in place, you can also stop on a single yellow line for the following reasons. Picking up and dropping off passengers, but waiting while they run into a shop is not permitted loading and unloading of goods that have already been paid for. If you work as a courier collecting and delivering parcels, or you're picking up an item of furniture that you've already paid for, then you're okay. Even click and collect shopping is permitted. If you are stopped there for one of these reasons, you are parked legally and there is no need to use hazard warning lights. Blue badge holders may also park there for the time specified in their handbook, so long as they are not causing an obstruction. If you feel the need to use hazard warning lights, then you probably are causing an obstruction, so consider moving on. If there is a second yellow line, that is double yellow lines, then that simply means that the restriction is enforced 24 hours a day and you won't need to look for a sign on a lamppost. If you see yellow lines painted up the curb and onto the pavement, known as a loading tick, then loading of goods is specifically restricted. Check the lamppost for a sign telling you what the restriction is. Some examples are no loading 8am to 10am, or no loading Monday to Friday. If there is a second tick, i.e. double ticks, then again it means the restriction is in place 24 hours a day. You can still stop to drop off or pick up passengers. Blue badge holders may not park there 
during the times that loading restrictions are in force. Here is a real example taken from Waterloo Street in Wolverhampton. It's a confusing set of lines and signs, and it just happens to be opposite the theory test centre. And as the paintwork is faded, we've added it in to make it clearer. To the left are double yellow lines. That means you cannot park there at any time, but you can stop to drop off and pick up passengers. Moving further to the right is a single yellow line, so we need to check the sign to see what the restrictions are. We can see that parking is not permitted from 2pm to 4.30pm. Parking is permitted from 8.30am to 2pm, but you need to pay. At any other time, that is after 4.30pm, all through the evening and night until 8.30am, you can park there without paying. There are single loading ticks, which means no loading at certain times. Check the sign to see what those times are. However, in this picture, and actually on the whole street, there are no signs to say what the times are. So even I'm confused. If the loading restriction was 24 hours a day, then the road marking would be double ticks. So do we assume that loading is actually permitted at any time? If you have a blue badge, listen very carefully. Your blue badge allows you to park on this part of the road without paying at any time that loading restrictions are not in force. And we've just discussed that loading possibly, maybe, isn't restricted. To be honest, I'm not confident enough to tell you that you can or can't park there with a blue badge between 2 p.m. and 4.30 p.m., but I think if you got a parking ticket, you would have a very strong case. Either Wolverhampton Council have been sloppy in their signage, or they are deliberately trying to discourage loading and blue badge holders from stopping there, without having to go to the trouble and bureaucracy of setting up a traffic management order. I'll let you decide that one. So yellow lines, single or double, and yellow ticks all refer to waiting, otherwise known as parking. Red lines, on the other hand, are far more severe. They mean no stopping. Note how the no stopping sign has a red cross, or you can think of it as two red lines crossed over each other. Whereas the no waiting sign has a single diagonal line. The single double rule is the same. A single red line means check for signs telling you the times of the no stopping restriction. And a double red line means it's a 24 hour a day restriction. When restrictions are in force, setting down of passengers is not permitted unless they are disabled. And loading and unloading is also not permitted. Look for a designated loading bay marked with dotted lines. On long stretches of road with few junctions, you may see an urban clearway sign instead of double red lines. Remember, two red lines crossed on the sign means the same as two red lines painted on the road. Stopping is not permitted except for breakdowns and medical emergencies. Finally, here's a summary. Don't worry about taking in all of that information straight away. There'll be a link to it in the description below. So I hope that's given you a better understanding of the meaning of single and double yellow lines and single and double red lines. I hope this video has been useful and I'll see you again very soon.